In this video, we will discuss ischemic stroke, pathophysiology, and etiology of ischemic stroke. 85% of strokes are ischemic. Ischemic stroke is the third most common cause of death, and 30 to 50% of patients become disabled. Reduction in blood flow for a few seconds causes cerebral ischemia. Why? Because neurons lack glycogen, so energy failure is rapid. Complete obstruction to cerebral blood blood flow causes neurons death in 4 to 10 minutes. What are the effects produced by thromboembolic occlusion? Thromboembolic occlusion leads to ischemia that causes decreased oxygen supply to the neurons. Anaerobic metabolism leads to accumulation of lactate and number 2 increase in hydrogen ion concentration. Number 3 depletion of ATP causes failure of energy dependent membrane bound ionic pump leading to increase in intracellular calcium, cytotoxic edema and releasing glutamate. How glutamate causes neurotoxicity? Glutamate increases intracellular influx of calcium. Increased hydrogen ion concentration facilitates the generation of free radicals which cause brain damage by astroglial injury. How autoregulation of cerebral blood flow is controlled? Cerebral blood flow autoregulation occurs between the blood pressure of 60 to 150 millimeters of mercury. Why? Due to smooth muscle contraction and relaxation depending on cerebral perfusion pressure. When cerebral perfusion pressure increases, smooth muscle contract and when cerebral perfusion pressure decreases, smooth muscle relax. If cerebral perfusion pressure decreases, it causes ischemia and if cerebral perfusion pressure increases, it causes edema. What's hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy? Severe hypoxia causes widespread brain injury leading to brain damage and stroke. Where does the blood loss and cardiogenic shock causes infarction in the brain? Cardiogenic shock and blood loss causes syncope but if syncope persists longer it may cause infarction in the borderline area of the cerebral blood vessel distribution. What are the causes of reduction in cerebral blood flow? Number one, generalized disorders, hemorrhage, severe hypotension, shock and dehydration. Number two, disorders of heart, cardiac arrhythmias, myocardial infarction and cardiogenic shock. And number three, thromboembolic occlusion of a major artery or its branch by a detached thrombus from peripheral sites like heart, lung, or carotid artery. What are the risk factors for acute ischemic stroke? Thromboembolic occlusion, diabetes, obesity, atrial fibrillation, carotid artery stenosis, sickle cell disease, cigarette smoking, and in women, postmenopausal hormone therapy. What's cardioembolic stroke? A stroke caused by heart disease due to embolism of thrombotic material formed on the atrial or ventricular wall or the heart valves. What are the cardiac causes of ischemic stroke? Atrial fibrillation, ventricular aneurysms, endocarditis, and vegetation from cardiac valves and prosthesis. What's the most common cardiac cause of ischemic strokes? Atrial fibrillation is the most common cause of cerebral embolism, which abnormality causes stroke-like clinical features. Patients with fever or sepsis manifest hemiparesis, which clears when the infection is controlled.